Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Or good evening. I think this is going out in the evening. But yeah. you could be watching this in the morning. It's true. For those of you guys who might be new around here, we are Minimal Millennials. And we've been living in a converted Sprinter van for about a year now. A little over two months ago now? A month mm -hmm. ago? Something like that, we decided to rip everything out and start completely over. We yeah. changed everything from the aesthetic of it to the layout, and we really just used what we learned from our months living in a van to make the best design possible for our situation. We are a couple of weeks into living in this new build. So far, mm -hmm. it has been unreal. We could probably link the other build tour. Yeah. If you guys want to see what it looked like before. But we did it for a lot of reasons when it comes to just the layout and structural changes and higher quality materials used. Yep. And then obviously the aesthetic as well. So we have now furnished the van and we are excited to show off um, our van tour to yeah. you. So anyway. All right. Let's come on in. <laughs> This is our living space. We decided to put a full couch in here so that we could really have a lot of space to hang out, just the two of us, but also host people and things like that. And one of the coolest things about having this big of a couch is that you really get to utilize the storage uh, or the space underneath for storage. So in these two drawers here, we really use it for um, shoes. This is our shower bag. So anytime we go to the gym and take a shower, that's what we bring with us. I think Christian's shoes are down here. Oh, and the sweater. Interesting. And then we have um, these two really big drawers and this is where we keep all of our clothes. So these are my clothes and these are Christian's clothes. Um, literally, I keep every single item of clothing that I own in this. And I really like these little um, storage cubes that help me organize everything. All of my sweaters that I won't be using too much um, over the summer are back here. So everything I really need right now is right here. Super accessible. And these are Christian's clothes. I do think he has some back in storage in the garage, which we'll show you soon. Um, just cause his clothes are a little bit bigger than mine. Okay, moving right along. Um, one of my favorite things that we have here is a secret seat slash laundry basket. So in this little compartment, we can just pull this out. And this is our laundry basket. So we throw all of our laundry here. But then we have this lid here that just goes straight on there. Right. And this little extra cushion slides right in. And now we have an L couch. It's super comfortable. So that gives us a little bit of extra seating and we can put this L kind of anywhere. We can put it down at the other end or in the middle if we want to, which I'll show you why we would do that. We have our table. This is where we store our table and we have um, a Lagoon table mount, which shout out to Lagoon. We love this table so far. Um, basically it just slides down like that and you can push it around however you want. We're kind of limited right here just because of the seat. But this is our main desk area. A lot of times, Christian will sit right here, do daddle around on his laptop, right. and then we can pull that L to I'll, be I'll, this. I can demonstrate, hold on. You lost the cushion with me. Oh. <laughs> it's a really smooth process we've worked out here. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. Plop. I mean, it's a smoother <laughs> process. So we have plenty of space to work, eat, watch a movie, whatever. The last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about because we've been getting some questions are these prints that we have. So we really wanted, well actually the story is that we were in Toronto at a trade show um, and this guy had all of these really cool prints of different cities, maps of cities. And we were looking for three that really represented us well so that we could put them in the van. Um, so we have Austin, which is where Christian grew up. We have Los Angeles, which is where I grew up. And then we have Reykjavik, which is 
in Iceland and Iceland is where we went on our honeymoon. We love Reykjavik. That's why we have these three cities here and I think they add a lot to the van. What are you so excited for? I forgot to tell you guys <laughs> about our Oaxaca pillow. Christian is gonna like to get all technical with you guys. I'm really just gonna wanna tell you about all the little touches. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is such a special little pillow to us because a lot of you guys who've been following us for a while know that we were in Mexico for a couple of months at the beginning of this year. And our favorite place in Mexico was our Oaxaca travels. And once we came back from Mexico, we made a pit stop in San Antonio, which is also where we lived for two years. We went to our favorite place, the Pearl, and found this pop-up shop that was selling handcrafted like, art from uh, artisans in Oaxaca. And they had this pillow and I fell in love with it. And so now we have this pillow. All right, onto the kitchen. Let's talk about kitchen stuff. This is where we keep all of our supplements and towels and salt and Q-tips. <laughs> the most important part. Guys, we love Q-tips so much. We have like a their own little living quarters here. <laughs> anyway, that's that. That drawer is nice. Um, as you guys might have seen before, we've got a Snow Peak Baja burner stove. Fits perfectly in one of our drawers. Drawer number three is reserved for our silverware situation. So nicely organized, babe. Well done. Thank you. And drawer number four is reserved for our <laughs> bathroom situation. So yeah, that's the way it is, guys. We've got all those drawers filled. They're all really nice. We're proud of that because it was really hard to make drawers like that. But here's our countertop. We just got this for 100 bucks from Home Depot. And we used the same sink from our last build, but last build we had a hand pump. Or it was pretty efficient, but it was just, you had to crank constantly, but it just kept breaking. So we upgraded and got fancy on this build. Here's the switch. So you flip it on. What? Is that automatic water vent? Wow. What? Anyways, guys, we've got a couple of knives here. On this magnetic strip, and no, they don't fly off while we drive. Let me show off the fridge before we move too far from it. Our fridge is pretty fancy. So we've got a little door here. And um, let's move that guy. Basically, this fridge, you just it's on a little sled. So it pulls right out. Flip it up. And that's what we got right there. So it's a 37-quart ARB fridge. But it holds a ton of food. It holds like a week's worth of food for us. We have two six gallon water tanks right here. We hook them directly up to a pump, which is hooked to our sink. So there's a little bit of electrical in there, but it's all tucked away out of the way. But we've got two six gallon tanks. We've got another six gallon tank that is our gray water. And we have a PVC pipe P-trap this time. So it, it allows the water to uh, prevent any odors from coming out because we ran into odor problems with the gray water last time. So be very aware of that. Um, but we've got our water down here, gray water, and then a recycling bin and a trash bin. So it's pretty, this is kind of the dank area, you know? I wouldn't venture out here alone or anything. <laughs> Last anything? thing here, guys, we've got this pantry. I love this door, by the way. We we put two like drawer sliders basically on it from the back, so it is so smooth. But it slides right out. Back there is the gray water. We have a very special touch that comes in majorly clutch and will answer a lot of your questions about how we pee. And that is our pee funnel. Basically, we have it on a hook here. Pull it right out. This goes straight to the bottom of the, the van. So if you have to do your business, you can turn around, you can do your business. And then, you know, give us a little splash down the funnel. I also like to clean it. Oh yeah, maybe give us a little squirt down the funnel. A little splash down the funnel. That's a clean funnel right there. Good design by Amen of Amen and Back. And then other than that, we just have a lot of food under there. This drawer right here has all of our coffee stuff, oil for cooking, any canned food, and then back behind it has some bulk food. So that's our pantry. It's pretty well used space. And that's about all there is for the kitchen in there, right, babe? You wanna do the last drawer where we keep oh, all yeah. our dishes? I almost forgot this guy. Last very key drawer is this puppy right here. That's basically where we keep all of our dishes. And pots and pans. And pots and pans. Not much to that one, just a big old drawer. <laughs> all right, what we actually have in here We've got four bowls right here, some measuring cups, big old pot, 
this big old bowl. I don't, I don't really know why we have this strainer. This is like the one really inefficient piece that we have left. Aubrey holds on to it for some reason. Uh, but this bowl is super key. And then we've got four plates right here, a pan, also a slightly inefficient object, but allows us to make delicious tea. <laughs> and that's about all, isn't it? And mugs. We have and two, three oh, we mugs. Have, we've got three mugs. Yeah. Yes, we've got three mugs. That's that drawer right there. And voila, that's our kitchen, y'all. Okay, our electrical. We have this Goal Zero 1400, Yeti 1400 battery. Um, and we had this in our last build. It really makes the whole situation really plug and play and pretty easy. We have two 100 watt solar panels on the roof that are just plugged into the battery and that's how it charges. We also charge it on the car battery. So that's kind of our backup charging solution when the sun isn't out too much. And then this is how we power everything. So obviously we have our 120 volt um, AC power and we just have some extension cords basically that run to different areas of the van so that we can charge things like our laptops or plug our fridge in and use our Vitamix and things like that. Um, and then we have this 12 volt area which this was the thing that really stumped me for a while. How the heck do we use our 12 volt appliances on this battery? So what I ended up using was this um, the Anderson power pole connector we have this here. Basically, okay. it's like a, a power strip for Anderson power pole connectors. Everything is literally just plugged in using that. So what we have plugged in to our 12 volt is our fantastic fan up here. The lights is something that we're really excited about. Um, having 12 volt lights is way more efficient. Last time we had 120 volt lights. That was not nearly as efficient. We have these four lights in the front on one um, connector and then these other ones on another switch. So this is our switch and we can fade them up and down. So we get some romantic mood lighting right, if we need it. Right. Um, and then we have the other switch over on this side for the lights over the bed. Some other things you guys might have questions about are ceiling. Uh, we worked with a company called Reclaim Arbor. They sent us this wood. It's all reclaimed wood and we absolutely love it. It's so unique, so amazing. Um, so we'll leave the information down in the description box below if you want to check it out. Um, they plant one tree for every box of wood sold. So that's why we're really excited about the company. Um, and then our bed, is that the last mm -hmm. thing? Yeah. We have a queen size bed, which we're stoked about. And we have a real mattress too. Um, a lot of people ask us, why the heck do you have a fixed bed? That's because we love having the storage it creates underneath. So we'll show you the garage in a second. So we just have this, this mattress. We got it. Um, it's like a, a foam mattress, but it's all natural materials. So we're really excited about that. And it's also temperature um, controlling, regulating, regulating yeah, yeah, yeah. temperature regulating. Um, so that's really nice for when we're in hot weather. It keeps us really cool. Right. Um, and our pillows do the same exact thing too. So shout out really to cool. Urban Mattress in Austin yeah. for hooking us up with this mattress. We'll link them below. They're awesome. They're really, really awesome. So the garage we really had to put some thought into because last time we had a big garage space and it was like a dark cavernous void that we just chucked things into until they piled on each other and got lost in the abyss. And we realized this is a problem when Eamon wanted me to teach him ukulele on the beach and said, do you have a ukulele? And I'm like, I'm not sure if I have a ukulele with me. I don't think I do. Turns out I did. So Eamon never got to learn ukulele and that's heartbreaker. And the reason for it was that we didn't have organized garage. So anyway, I apologize to you Eamon and I will show you my newly improved garage situation. Um, it is ukulele list though. It is ukulele, so yeah, I don't feel that bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had a couple big priorities for this garage. One was to have our bikes really accessible because before we really didn't have our bikes very accessible. Therefore, we did not ride them very much. So we're hoping that this time we'll ride our bikes more because we can access them better. But here's the solution. Um, we've got a little hanger right here for our tires, our bike chains, our bike helmets, et cetera, et cetera. And then right here, we've got like this, basically this sled. I'm not gonna pull it out all the way, but that pulls out for our bikes. You can unhook them right here. So that's our bike situation. And it's really, really easy to get them in and out, especially compared to last time when we kind of had to dig around everything. Um, because that sled works so well, I basically just made a ton of sleds for the entire garage. Uh, this one, winter clothes in here, which is a couple of sweaters, a couple of jackets, winter blankets in the matching bucket right behind it. 
and then some camping gear in the bucket right behind that. So this is all just storage. My guitar, we have a couple of yoga mats, both of which are used by Aubrey, neither of which are used by me, hanging out. And then on the side here, we've got like some, um, some hiking boots, some extra diesel fuel, and the last piece, which I really like this piece a lot, is our workstation. So I've got our um, nail gun, jigsaw, drill, circular saw, sander, everything's right here. Cause we really don't have like a house or a home base or anything. So everything we own really is in this car. Um, so I wanted to have our tools with us cause we invested in these tools and we might have to do repairs as we go and do other building projects. So anyway, here's our tools. We can just slide this out. Got some more work stuff down there and basically have a little tiny workshop. It's the garage guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions about any of the things that we used, we will mm. probably link them in the description box mm. below. So check that out first before you comment and ask a question. But if you do have any questions, we'd love to answer them. Um, or you could just comment to say hi. That's true. <laughs> um, thank you guys again so much for watching. If you're new around here, um, you might not know this, but we actually make a lot of content about mm. what it's like to live in a van. Um, what it's time to what it's like to work full-time in a van mm -hmm. and what it's like to travel internationally in a van mm -hmm. things like that so if you're really curious or intrigued by van life or maybe you're a van life you're yourself and really want to get into more into the community definitely check out our channel and see what we're about stay tuned because we have a ton of other content coming soon but I hope you enjoyed this video and I think that's about all yeah we'll talk to you guys in our next video all right see you guys then bye, bye.